Hello, this is a message that I want to dedicate in particular to you, the many hundreds of you, mainly Syrians, who have written to me on Facebook in the past few days, reacting on the press release that, that we sent out last week stating that there should be legal and safe ways for refugees to reach Europe in order to apply for asylum. I deeply regret that thousands of persons every month are risking their lives by crossing the Mediterranean Sea in unsafe boats in their search for international protection and in other words search for a better future here in Europe than all those difficult places that they are fleeing from. I can assure you that I am trying to do everything possible in order to make the EU member state willing to increase their volume of quota refugees in order to avoid any more tragical disasters such as the one that we witnessed outside of Lampedusa last week. I am also raising the proposal that it should be possible to apply for asylum visas on EU embassies and consulates in third countries. It is a huge disgrace and a failure for the European Union that there still aren't any legal and safe ways to get to Europe in order to apply in person here for, for asylum. It is clear that money alone is not enough to stop the severity of the ongoing human suffering in Syria. Granting temporary protection to refugees fleeing the conflict is now the way forward if we really want to contribute to the Syrian refugees' humanitarian assistance. Today, the EU legislation already provides instruments to grant humanitarian visas, such as the Visa Code and the Schengen Borders Code. Some EU countries, like Germany and Sweden, are already showing the way forward, but much more should and could be done and I would like to stress that European member states now have instruments at their disposal if the situation were to deteriorate, such as the temporary protection directive. No member state can be excused from reaching out to Syrian refugees today, given their capacity and their tools. It is a matter of solidarity and humanity. I am overwhelmed by your support and by your kind words. It gives me even more energy and strength in my fight for an asylum system that is based on solidarity and humanity. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart and I do wish you all the best.